The Lamb Who Came for Dinner by Steve Smallman. Vegetable soup again, moaned the old wolf. Oh, I wish I had a little lamb. I could make my, a stew, my favorite, just then. It was a little lamb. Can I come in? The little lamb asked, yes, my dear, do come in. You're just in time for dinner, said the wolf, snickering. <laughs> the little lamb was shivering with cold. Brr, brr, goodness gracious me said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that is frozen. I hate frozen food. So he put her next to the fire to thaw. The, the old wolf looked up a recipe for lamb stew. Mmm. He felt hungry at the thought of it. The lamb was feeling hungry too. Her tummy rumbled, rumble, rumble. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with a rumbling tummy. I might get indi indigestion. So he gave the lamb a carrot stuffing, he said to himself. The, the little lamb gobbled down the carrot so quickly that she got the hiccups. Hick, hick, hiccup. Goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb with hiccups. I might catch them too, but he didn't know how to cure hiccups. He th tried throwing the lamb up into the air. Hick, that didn't work. He held her upside down. Hick, that didn't work. He twirled her around and around. Hiccup, that didn't work either. So the old wolf patted her back with his big hairy paw. The lamb stopped hiccuping and snuggled under the old wolf's chin and fell fast asleep. The old wolf felt funny. He'd never been hugged by his dinner before, and suddenly he didn't feel so hungry after all. The little lamb snored gently in his ear. <coughs> Goodness gracious me, I whispered the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb that's snoring. The old wolf sat down by the fire, the little lamb warm on his chest, and thought how very long it had been since anyone had given him a hug. He sniffed, then sniffed again. The little lamb smelled so, so delicious. Oh, groaned the wolf. If I eat her quickly, it'll be all right. And w and he was just about to gobble her, her up when bum, bum, bum. She woke up and gave him a big, great kiss. N no, howled the wolf. That's not fair. I'm a big, bad wolf and you are a stew. Sue, said the little lamb, giggling. Then she pointed at the old wolf and said, Woof! S oh, give me strength, groaned the old wolf. You'll have to go. He gave the lamb a warm sweater, put her outside. Now go away, he shouted. If you stay here, I'll eat you, and then we'll both be sorry. He shut the door with a bang. It was dark outside and cold. The little lamb banged on the door. Wolf, she cried. Can I come in, wolf? But the old wolf stuck his finger in his, e in his ears and sang, la, 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 la. At the last, it all was quiet. Thank goodness she's gone, thought the wolf. She's not safe here with a hungry old wolf like me. Then he thought of the lamb all alone in the dark woods. She might get lost. She might get frozen. She might get eaten. Oh no, what have I done? He howled. He leaped up and opened the door. The lamb was gone, 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 gone. 
The old wolf rushed out into the dark woods, crying, Little lamb, little lamb, come back. I won't eat you, I promise. Much, much later, a sad, soggy old wolf trugged wearily back to his cottage all alone. Dun, dun, dun. There, there by the fire sat the little lamb. You came back, said the, said the wolf. Don't you have anywhere else to go? The little lamb shook her head. Mm, uh. Then would you like to stay here with me? Asked the wolf. Not eat me? Wolf, no. The lamb said, goodness gracious me, said the old wolf. I can't eat a lamb who needs me. I might get heartburn. The little lamb smiled and threw herself into the old wolf's arms. Are you feeling hungry, Sue? asked the wolf. Bum, ba, da, dum. How about some vegetable soup? It's my favorite.